Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rondell's Unpopular Opinion Podcast. Welcome to my Spreaker. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are tuning in via YouTube, make sure that you not only like this video and give it a thumbs up, but be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so every time that I upload a new podcast, you are in the know. Now, I said that I would not be doing as many podcasts as I have been doing lately because I've had... um a crazy itinerary or I have a crazy itinerary coming up for about the next two weeks. So my podcasts are definitely going to slow down. They're not going to be as frequent. However, when I heard this story, okay, when I heard this story this early this afternoon, I said, oh, this is going to be some sugar honey iced tea. So the internet pretty much broke today for Carol Sanchez I kept seeing all over Instagram, all over Facebook, all over Twitter, um, articles from ABC News coming out saying that, uh, you know, this girl was, you know, abducted. I believe she's 16 years old, was abducted walking with her mother late last night around 1130 p.m. And it was just like literally like wildfire. The, the news was just spreading like wildfire. People were retweeting. People were, you know, contacting like the precinct. It was just crazy, 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 crazy. Now, I was at work when a lot of this was unfolding and I had a pretty busy day today at work. So I didn't really get to um, get all into the hype. All right. Now, I said this before, probably on another podcast that people have a tendency um, to operate off of emotion and media entities are very much so aware of this. They know this and they play on people's psyche all the time. People do not read People are not critical thinkers. People do not strategically think. People don't have, you know what I'm saying, like dialogue that is pretty much so enabling thought. They don't do that, all right? Now, I kept seeing people just repost and repost and repost. And I'm like, there's no way people are reading these articles. They're just reposting stuff. They're reposting stuff. They're reading the titles. They're getting emotionally connected to it. And they're not reading the scenario. They're not reading what is actually taking place. Now, when I read the story, because I'm actually one of those people who actually do read, I read the story and I said, something is just not clean in the buttermilk with this story like straight up. And it's sad for me to say that, you know what I'm saying? But it was something about this story that didn't make sense. One of the things that I thought about after I read uh, the ABC article, and this was around, I'm going to say probably around three o'clock, I read the article. I read the ABC article that my cousin actually posted on his Facebook page. And I said, she's 16. I could understand if she was four, maybe five, right? to abduct a child straight from the mother's arms and basically snatch the kid and run. Kidnap, put the kid in the the knapsack. That's where the whole origination of the word kidnap comes from. But I thought this was strange because this was an adolescent with her mother, with her maternal parent, her maternal parental. And I find it very weird that both of them didn't get snatched. I'm not saying that it's impossible but it's highly unlikely to abduct an adolescent that's a female with her mom her maternal parental and both the mother and the daughter don't get snatched a real criminal would have snatched at least a real criminal here in new york a real criminal would have snatched both of them that's just my opinion it may be an unpopular opinion but that's how i see it a real criminal wouldn't have left the adult on the scene to run and tell the feds a story I mean, I, it just, it's, it's, to me, it's logic. And that's just that. But then later on this afternoon, I'm going to say like around six o'clock, the news had broke that, you know, Carol was actually staging this whole kidnapping. And when I read the article at around three o'clock, the article basically said that it was a, a potential setup that, could have been initiated via Carol, all right? They didn't have the reason at the time, but they said that this may have been a setup. 
So right then and there, when I initially read the article, I took it with a grain of salt that this girl was actually really kidnapped. And it, it's really sad. And I'm going to tell you why it's really sad. It's really sad that you have to think like that because like I told you guys before, I'm a native New Yorker. I'm 31 years old. I have never lived in any other state other than New York. Okay. Born and raised. Now, the section of where I'm from in New York is pretty, I'm going to say I can get to the Bronx probably in about 10 minutes. I can walk to the Bronx. I am not from the Bronx though. But what I will say is, is this. For many of you guys who don't live here or you are unfamiliar with the New York City boroughs, okay? We have Manhattan, we have Brooklyn, we have Bronx, we have Staten Island, and we have Queens. I think I got all five of them. Brooklyn, (laughs) Queens, Staten Island, the Bronx, Manhattan. Those are the five boroughs. Out of all of the five boroughs, okay, especially with the mass gentrification that has taken place in New York City, the Bronx has to be one of the most highest rated boroughs when it pertains to poverty when it pertains to crime when it pertains to child and adolescent abduction all right so i'm going to make that very clear it is not unlikely for children or adolescents to go missing in the bronx this has been a problem for many, many years. I've had a few co-workers who are actually from the Bronx whose children have gone missing, all right? They have gone missing at one point in time and they could not find their children. It's real out here in the battlefield. I'm just letting you know. So the fact that someone's child or teenager is really missing and is probably in real danger And the fact that Carol really wasted law enforcement resources for a lie is really, really just sick. It's sick and it's crazy. And it goes to show that something deep and internally and intrinsically rooted is going on with her. Now, sources and, you know, the blogs and the news is basically saying now that the reason why carol actually told the lie was because her mother and her family wanted to basically move to i'm assuming their their native honduras all right and she didn't want to go back so she staged her own kidnapping and this is what i really don't understand about this new generation and i said this on my instagram i said this on my facebook The new generation of kids that are out now, all right, this new generation of kids are a different type of kids. They are mass manipulators and liars and Decepticons. I'm saying it. You might not like it. I really don't give a shit. All right. Their lies are just like detrimental. And and I just really don't understand it. I really, really can't. I'm thinking about how... Um, the story that had broke made national news of a young black girl who was in school and basically came home with her dreadlocks cut. She went and told her mother that a group of white students actually cut her dreads off. And basically it was pretty much a hate crime when that actually didn't happen. She actually cut her dreads off because she didn't want dreads anymore. And it's like, At this point, it was too late. The story was already out. It already had made national news and it was a lie. Like these kids nowadays, I don't know, but they're on a different type of time frame. They're on a different type of time and they're really telling astronomical lies. And I don't, for, for attention, where basically they're drawing people in and getting people emotionally baited in their tomfoolery. And I just really don't understand it. I really, really don't, you know, it's just, they're different. They're, they're really different, but sadly to say, I call BS with this story from the beginning. I wasn't buying into it because I actually read the article and it was just like, something is just not right. Some things are just not making sense. I found it very unlikely for the daughter to be snatched and not the mother. 
it just didn't make sense to me. And hey, that's just me. And I knew something was just off and something was wrong about it. But it's just really, really sad. Like I said, I'm going to reiterate this. It's just really, really sad because this is a huge problem. These Decepticons of children are out here spinning lies, spinning narratives, false narratives based on societal tumultuous dynamic. And that is the problem. Like, for instance, for example, like I said, the girl that basically lied and said that, you know, her dreads were cut off. In this season that we're in of embracing dark skin, you know, women, embracing, you know, different hairstyles, embracing locks, you know, you have, um, you know, certain states, I believe, uh, were going around basically stating that dreadlocks are basically illegal on the workforce and stuff like that. This, this is not that like, this is real. Like th- for some people, it really is real. You know what I'm saying? So for you to go and make up a lie, based off someone else's truth or because you want some type of attention, that's pretty serious. And we really need to get our children. We really do because (laughs) it's just... This is this is crazy. But drop down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this. Did you guys truly believe this? Were you one of those ones who, you know, as a parent or as just a person of integrity and a person of righteousness, you just felt just so, you know, hurt that, you know, a parent was missing their child? What do you guys think about this? Drop down in the comments. Let me know. And I will check you out in the next one. Thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast. And I will see y'all later. Peace.